when we're meditating, we're creating a home for the mind, a place where it's protected from things outside. You don't have to be subject to the rain or the heat or the cold or the wind. When it's cold outside, you close the windows and doors. When it's hot inside, you open the windows and doors and let the breeze come in. In other words, you're more in control of what's going to happen to the mind, what it's subject to. And this way your goodness gets protected, because otherwise if you're subject to the rain and the cold and the wind, you're like a homeless person wandering around. And Homeless people have trouble making in anything of themselves in life. All I can think about is bare survival. Whereas you have a home, you can start thinking about all the other good things you can do, the things you can share with other people. Your own goodness isn't in danger. And you have much more, more opportunity to let it grow. For the sake of your own goodness, okay, you give it a good place, give it a good protection like this. You're staying with the breath, you're protecting it from its tendency to go out and look for sights, sounds, smells, taste, tactile sensations, and of course the mind is then open to their influence. When you're not open to their influence, okay, then you can start developing the goodness you want. The inside, internal goodness it then spreads outside as well. So it's important you have this sense of protection, a sense of a safe place to go, so that your goodness is safe as well. So always keep this principle in mind. <laughs>